Okay, so for this program, we are just going to find the maximum and then the minimum uh, value in a, in a sequence of numbers that the user inputs. So because we're doing user input, we have the scanner package and object here. And let's see, let's do double largest equals in dot next double. And why don't we just prompt them with some text. So we'll say system dot out print uh, enter a series of numbers. All right, and yeah, that looks good. Um, now we'll do a while loop. While in dot has next double. So as long as the number is is being entered by the user, then we'll create a variable double input equals in dot next double. So we'll store that number that number and in input each time this loop is run. Um, and we'll do a condition here. If input is greater than largest, then the new largest equals input. So it just checks each number every time the loop runs. And uh, if it's if you don't enter a number, then the loop is over. Right, so do I have the, enough brackets? I think so. So why don't we just run this and see what it looks like. And uh, let's print out the largest, just so we know we did the right thing. Enter a series of numbers. Let's do one, four, five, nine, seven, three. And then let's say, done okay 9.0 great so uh, what happened is we type done and done is not a double and this loop will only run as long as what the next uh, thing the user types is it is a integer or a double just any number so because we typed text a string so it uh, it ended the loop ended the loop and the largest of these numbers is 9 so it ran and it said uh, it started with one and it said is one is four larger than one yes so four is the largest is five larger than four yes is nine larger than five yes is seven larger than nine no so it stops there um, so we can go ahead and do this for smallest as well uh, let's see so let's try this I can just comment this out double smallest equals in dot next double while in dot has next double uh, double input equals in dot next double okay now this time we'll do if input is smaller is less than smallest then smallest equals input and then that will keep running to find the smallest number and then we sh should enter a, uh, a prompt here just some text enter numbers to find the smallest okay so let's try that which numbers to find the smallest okay so let's try eight three six, nine, ten, uh, five, and then we'll say stop. Okay, well, I think it worked, but we forgot to put a, to print out, to check. So why don't we do that? Okay, so print out smallest. Let's try that again. Okay, let's do five, and 100, 8, um, 50, uh, 15, doesn't really matter. And we'll say end it. 5.0, okay, great. So this first number we entered, five, that is the smallest. So basically the same thing here, we just kind of change the variable, the variable and reverse the the sign here. So yeah, it looks pretty good.